Hello. I just want to do a very fast video about the last Trump. I have those questions all the time that people confuse these trumpets, those trumpets of God. And so just a short video to clarify these trumpets and the trumpets of God, especially that last trump. We get that um, uh, scripture from 1 Corinthians 15. So go there and read it. I think it's 52 or something like that. 1 Corinthians 52. Um, where it says that at the last trump, the dead in Christ will be will rise. So referring to Isaiah 26, 19 through 21. Actually 20. 20 no, it's 19 through 21. So the dead in Christ will rise. Um, on the last trump. And that's what I want to talk about. The last trump today. Which so many people. Confuse. Now the last trump is not the total final trump of God. There will be trumps after. Blown afterwards. And before. Now trumps will be blown in the kingdom. To announce something. And that's the only reason. It's to announce, make an announcement. Hello, this is something is happening and so the trumpets are blown. Now with the last trump that Paul talked about, okay, the trumpets uh, will continue to be blown. But the last trumpet refers to an event during which many trumpets are blown. The last trumpet of that event. Lots of people confuse that with the event of the wrath of God. We have learned in a previous video, and especially in Isaiah, that there is a last trump for the resurrection and the taking away of the bride. And a last trump for the wrath of God, which follows. So now we're going to have to think about, of course, which one is it? It can't be the last trump of the wrath of God. It has to be the last, last trump of the resurrection and the taking out of the bride. I'm trying to avoid saying rapture because many people go nuts, but... I want to use it anyways. I want to use that word anyways because people go nuts. And they need to understand when people talk about the rapture, they're talking about a specific event in 1 Corinthians 15 or 1 Thessalonians 4. That's what they're talking about. Now, the placement of that event for many is on the wrong spot. But when we look at the Bible, we know that that placement of this uh, resurrection event is right at the beginning of the day of the Lord. is before the wrath of God. Watch some of my videos. Go back two videos or even one and watch those again. Made it very clear. The one that I talked about, Isaiah 26, 19 through 21. Watch that one, because it shows the progression very clearly. The resurrection rapture happens before the wrath of God. Therefore, the last trump that Paul is using in 1 Corinthians 15 is the last trump of that event. That also means that when you go to Matthew 24, 15, uh, no, not 15, Matthew 24, 31, when the angels gather the elect, it's not the same trump. Because when the angels gather the elect, and again, a couple of videos ago, I talked about that. Okay? 
That event is a different event than the resurrection event, which happens before the wrath. This event, when the angels gather the elect, is after the wrath. After the sun goes dark and the moon loses its shine, and people can see the Son of Man in, in the clouds. That is after the wrath. So it's a different event. So that trumpet that is blown there is not the same trumpet as the last trump that um, Paul addressed. So just wanted to clarify that and please do a study and watch the videos that I've done prior because they are all tied together and come to the same conclusion. People get confused. The last trump of this section of the Feast of Trumpets is the last trump of a hundred trumps. The Feast of Trumpet, or these, the last trump points to the Feast of Trumpets, just like the thief in the night points to the Feast of Trumpets. Or nobody knows the day or the hour points to the Feast of Trumpets because they are all uh, symbolic representations of that day, to recognize that day. So the last trump of the Feast of Trumpets is the hundredth trump. There are a hundred trumps blown on that feast. A hundred people. So that is this section or this event. And the last one is the one that um, Paul talked about clearly pointing to that feast. It's not the last trump of God's wrath. Remember, we have seven trumps or seven, yeah, trumpets or, yeah, it's trumpets of God's wrath in Revelation 8 through 11. Many people don't want to acknowledge that that's the wrath of God. But in the end of the chapter 6, John tells us, that the wrath is coming, because even the unbelievers know it's coming. It says, you know, they know the wrath is coming. And then in chapter 8, the last seal, he describes the wrath of God in detail in the seven trumpets. Now, these seven trumpets can be compared to the seven bowls. And they totally, you can actually... If you compare them, see that it's the same event. And the seven bowls are definitely the wrath of God because it says so. Also, I think in chapter 11, there's a place where it says the wrath, wrath has come. And I think it says that in chapter 11. Thy wrath has come. You can put that in your computer and find it where it is could be 11, okay? Thy wrath has come. Uh, either 10 or 9, one of those. But it says clearly that these seven trumpets are wrath of God. So this last trumpet in, of the wrath of God is not what Paul is talking about. Remember, Paul also talked in 1 Thessalonians 5, that we will not go into the wrath. We were destined to salvation and not for wrath. Read that again too, because that's all one thing. See, people love to pull out verses. And I would think that's a very bad thing. Well, I was rudely interrupted again. But again, this last Trump of the wrath of God is definitely not the last Trump that Paul was addressing. So I hope that helped. It's supposed to be a short video. Maybe do your study, just giving you kind of an idea what to look for. Because sometimes, you know, people throw out these words. And you have to know where these words come from. And you have to research them yourself. 
Because if we're not doing our own work, we get deceived. So I'm coming to an end today. Um, like I said, this is a fast video. I have done a lot of work ahead of time. In other words, watch my previous videos that I just mentioned. And they all talk about these things in detail. So I don't have to go into detail. Anyways, let the Holy Spirit guide you always.